Hello, hello, Sharon here, and I'm going to start off by dropping a major spoiler alert in before I even get into this video, and that is Gmail does not allow you to sort by sender. No matter how many times you search for it, no matter how many videos you click on, because the thumbnail says how to sort by sender in Gmail, it doesn't it doesn't work. At the time of recording this video, Gmail just won't let you do it. You can't do it. So there, I've said it. So now I've got that out of the way. In this video, I'm going to show you another five ways of kind of bringing up the same information as that. It comes a close second to sorting by sender. Now, if you're still here, thank you and let's crack on. The first way I'm going to show you is useful if you want to do a bulk action for a specific email address. So, for example, if you want to delete um, all of their emails. So right click on any email from that particular person and go down to find emails from and then that person's name. This will list all of the emails from them currently in your inbox or any other label that you've placed them into. It doesn't include any that are in your bin or junk or spam folders. So they show in date order with the newest at the top and the oldest at the bottom. Then you can select all by clicking on the checkbox at the very top of the page above the actual list and choose a bulk action from the icons that have appeared next to it on the right hand side. So for example, the delete icon there, press delete and it will delete all of them in that that you've selected. You'll also notice that in the search bar at the top, it now says from semicolon and the email address. And this brings me nicely onto the second method, which is using advanced search. Click on the options icon on the right hand side of the search bar and then just set the parameters. So for example, you might only want to see the emails from them in the last six months. So you'd go down to date within six months and you might only want to see ones that include a certain word. So if we put in a certain word here and then click search and this shows you only what you've asked for. Look again in the search bar and you'll see that the parameters are there that you've set. The third method is to set up a filter for a specific email address. So again, on the search bar, click in the options icon on the right hand side, type in the email address that you want to filter. So we want it to come from, start typing in an email address and then click create filter at the bottom here. Then you just choose what you want to happen to any emails coming in that match the filter criteria. So for example, we want, we want them to skip the inbox and the emails can go directly into a label that you've created specifically for them. So tick apply the label and then choose the label name. If you don't have a label set up for them, don't worry, you can easily create a new one from in here. Also, if you already have emails in your inbox that meet this criteria, then it will ask you here at the bottom if you want to apply the filter to these emails. So I'm just gonna say yes and click create filter and job done. The next way is if you just want to see the most recent emails and communications from a specific person, hover over the person's name and click on open detailed view. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a list of recent interactions which include emails, calendar events and any documents that you've shared through Google Drive. You can always click on more here if you want to see a few more listed. My final method is to set up a separate section or inbox for that particular email address. So click on settings, which is the cogwheel in the top right corner, and then scroll down to inbox type, scroll down a bit more till you get to multiple inboxes and click customize. This opens up your main inbox settings and you can see you have five sections here that you can customize so you view them alongside your regular inbox. You might find that you automatically have included one that said is starred and is draft in the top two. You just can, you can easily remove those if you don't want to see those and just have five of your own. So to view the query options that you can use, click on learn more here and over on the right hand side, you'll see a list that pops up. So if you scroll down here and you have the search criteria that you can add for each section, when you search for a person's email, you need to put it all in quotation marks. So we type in quotation mark from semicolon and then the email address and quotation mark. So you just remember to include the quotation marks around the whole thing. Then give it a, sex, a name, the section, an actual name. This is optional, but I find that it is. it just makes it a bit easier to look at. And then you can go through the rest of the settings for it, as in, do you want the um, section to be above or below or to the right of the inbox? How many conversations do you want per page for the inbox sections before it moves on to the next page? You can even have a reading pane if you want to as well. 
So I'm just going to leave it as above the main inbox and 20 conversations and no reading pane. And I'm going to click save changes. So as you can see, this new section is now at the top here and this is collapsible as well. So you can click on here to collapse it and expand it again. And you can see the inbox is directly underneath it. One thing to point out is that the inbox now has everything in there. So back when you had your default view, you probably had um, the separate tabs across the top for promotional emails and updates, etc. These are now all included in your main inbox. To get back to your default view at any time, click on the cogwheel in the top right for settings, scroll down to inbox type and just click default and it goes back to your default view. So to repeat myself a little bit here, you cannot sort by sender in Gmail but I've showed you five different ways of seeing emails from a specific sender in this video. I know it's not the same sorting by sender, but I hope that at least one of these methods will be useful to you. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna use one of them or if you're just gonna say goodbye to Gmail. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.